Hello, this is progressions and series lesson one. In this, I will discuss the basics. Before going to progressions, let's discuss what actually a sequence is. Sequence is whenever numbers are arranged according to some specific rule or logic separated by comma, that can be called as a sequence. First sequence I have written for you is two, four, six, eight, ten up to twenty terms. Now, first of all. This is a finite sequence. Why finite sequence? Because the number of terms are finite. Now, what will be the logic behind this sequence? The logic is that you have even numbers: two, four, six, eight, ten, up to twenty terms. You have first twenty even natural numbers. So that is the logic behind this sequence. Second is one, three, five, seven, nine, up to infinite. Now, in this second sequence, the number of terms are infinite so this is a infinite sequence and what is the logic behind this sequence the logic is that you can see that they are odd numbers starting from 1 this is a sequence of odd numbers starting from 1 till infinity third sequence 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square up to 50 terms this is also a finite sequence and what is the logic the logic is that You have a square of natural numbers starting from one up to fifty square because the number of terms are fifty. So squares of natural number. I am just writing n square. Square of natural numbers starting from one, and the last sequence is two, three, five, seven, eleven, and thirteen, up to infinite terms. This is also infinite sequence. And what's the logic? The logic is that it's a sequence of prime number starting from first prime number that is two. up to infinity so that is the meaning of sequence next is series what is series series is simply the sum of all the terms in a sequence is called as series you can see that our first sequence was 2 4 6 8 10 10 series will be 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 up to 20 terms if we add all the terms in a sequence we will get the series So this is a finite series. Finite series. This is infinite series. This is finite series, and this is also infinite series. So if we add all the terms of a sequence, we will get a series. How to find the sum of all the terms in a sequence? That is, how to find that sum in a series? We will let you know in the upcoming lessons. Next is what is a progression? A sequence in which we can calculate the nth term. Very important. Progression is derived from the sequence. Sequences in which we can find the nth term that will be called as progression. So just explaining in a better way. Let's say if we have sequence. Sequence are of two type. First type and second type. first type are those in which we can calculate the nth term we can calculate tn tn comes for nth term and second are those in which we can't find the nth term so they that will be the only sequence we say that this is only a sequence this will be a sequence as well as a progression you can say that it's a sequence as well as a progression because we can find the nth term here i have written some sequences you have to tell whether they are progressions or not just pause the video tell me first sequence is it a progression or not you can see that 2 4 6 8 i told you that a sequence is a progression whenever we can find the nth term so can we find the nth term you can see that term number 1 is 2 into 1 2 term number 2 that is 4 that is 2 into 2 term number 3 that is 2 into 3 term number 4 is 2 into 4 term number 10 in this case will be 2 into 10 and can we find the nth term yes it will be 2 into n so we can find the nth term as 2n so this is a progression this is a progression this is sequence as well as progression we can find the and the nth term by logic same way second sequence 1 3 5 7 9 up to n terms is it a progression let's check that 
first term is 1 you can see that this is 2 into 1 minus 1 second term is 2 into 2 minus 1 third term is 2 into 3 minus 1 that is 5 same way fifth term will be 2 into 5 minus 1 that is 9 and that term will be 2 into n minus 1 again we can find the n term so this is also a progression so any sequence in which we can find the nth term by any concept or formula or logic that will be called as progression. Third sequence is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. This is a sequence of prime numbers. Now can we calculate the nth term? Now prime numbers does not follow any pattern. So you can't calculate the nth term. You can't say that nth term will be this every term you have to calculate manually by knowing the concept that prime numbers are those which are divisible by one and itself there is no specific pattern in this which will help you to find the nth term so this is not a progression this is not a progression one fourth sequence 1 11 triple 1 4 1 up to n terms is this a progression yes because you can see that first term there is 1 1 second term there are 2 1 this is term number 1 1 this is term number 2 2 1 term number 3 3 1 term number 4 4 1 so term number n will be 1 1 1 1 up n times so we can find the nth term by observing the pattern so that is a progression fifth sequence is 9 9 fifth Fifth sequence is 9, 99, triple 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 up to n terms. Is this a progression? Yes. Because we can find the nth term. You know that term number 1, only 1, 9 is there. Term number 2, 2, 9 are there. Term number 3, 3, 9. Term number 4, 4, 9. So term number n, 9, 9, 9 will come n times. So we can find the nth term. That is a progression. So in this way, I have explained you the difference between a sequence and a progression. Let's discuss few examples. If the nth term of any progression is given to you as 2n plus 7, nth term, you can always calculate the any term you want. If you want to calculate fifth term, you can calculate once you know the nth terms. Fifth term will be 2 into 5 plus 7, that is 17. You can also calculate tenth term. This is 2 into 10 plus 7, that is 27. Another example I'm taking, another progression, nth term is like this, minus 1 raised to the power n minus 1 5 raised to the power n plus 1 can we calculate any term yes we can calculate can we calculate second term yes because minus 1 power 2 minus 1 5 raised to the power 2 plus 1 this will be minus 1 raised to the power 1 5 q minus 1 odd power is always minus 1 into 125 so answer is minus 125 that will be your second term you can also calculate the fifth term. Fifth term will be minus 1 raised to the power 5 minus 1, 5 raised to the power 5 plus 1. So this will be minus 1 raised to the power 4, 5 raised to the power 6. Minus 1 raised to the power even is always 1 into 5 power 6. So answer will be 5 power 6. So whenever n term of any progression is given to you, you can calculate any term you want. And that is the benefit of calculating the nth term. Once you know the nth term of any progression, you can calculate any term of your choice. So that was all about lesson 1 basics. In this, I explained you about the sequence, progression, the difference between a sequence and a progression. And whenever the nth term is given to you, how to calculate the any other term of your choice. Thank you.